Um, hi, my name is Rob Yearsley. I am CEO and co-founder of a little company from Australia called Collusion. Uh, I mention that because uh, we developed our technology in Sydney uh, with the guidance of the Google Wave team. Um, we've developed a real-time collaboration platform uh, around freeform collaboration. We're really interested in the idea that the most pervasive, uh, the most used collaboration tech out there still is a whiteboard. Uh, and we thought it a fitting place to actually revisit uh, what you use these things for. Uh, so funny enough, we're talking really, in some respects, the same idea approached very, very differently, uh, which is to look at how people actually work together uh, in a post-PC era across many devices um, in many different situations. And I'm curious, and you probably heard this said a few many times, and as I've just heard uh, from Molly, uh, is that these things, these tablet computers, really haven't found their feet as a good productivity or work tool yet. They haven't found their talent doing things better than a laptop or pen and paper, which we also cut around, the three devices you mentioned. So we decided to take a crack at this. Pen computing's been done before in around 2000 by Microsoft guys. Yay. Um, and it didn't take off. Okay, so, uh, and we think that was down to not, not a failing of the hardware at all, it was a failing of software, uh, and also metaphor. The metaphor back then was, this is a digital pen, might be a nice Wacom pen, but this tablet computer, this $2,000 Hewlett Packard or Fujitsu tablet computer back then, is a piece of paper. Uh, and basically pen computing uh, and trying to use tablets with a pen has been stuck in that metaphor ever since. This idea that tablet computers are an analogue for paper. So we decided to throw that away. Uh, entirely. Uh, and I mentioned before, we got some roots in and around Google Wave. Uh, we sat with those guys, we sat down with a beer in Sydney and said, tell us about your experiences in developing Google Wave. What insights are you willing to share about trying to make a very kick-ass real-time collaboration platform, which was obviously presented at Google Docs. Um, and that basically allowed us to investigate and develop a new cloud service infrastructure, full stack, to make real-time collaboration work really well. And that was the start of collusion. So basically, what Collusion is, is a very large canvas. You can probably see in the top right hand corner of the screen that little grey square. That's basically a view portal uh, for what we mess around with. Uh, collusion is a cloud based service. It is a very fast real time collaboration service. Uh, we reckon it's probably the fastest on the planet. We think we're about 40 times faster than a service hosted on EC2. Uh, round trip time is about 2 milliseconds uh, in and out of our network. Um, but I'll get into why that's important in a minute. Um, this service uh, and this technology, uh, as I said before, we're interested in this opportunity. A billion tablets are going to be out there uh, within about three to four years. Uh, and that, that strikes us as an interesting fact. So we've been working and doing research and development with uh, several major uh, tablet manufacturers uh, and consumer electronics companies uh, to work on this. But we're on the clock back a little bit. We kicked this off as a Kickstarter campaign a year and a half ago, okay? Which worked out pretty well. We raised a decent amount of capital very quickly. Uh, and uh, we basically uh -huh. built from there uh, to run a private beta. So basically, we managed to put a project out on Kickstarter, get it up and running to run a private beta, and learn about the market and the problem space. And what was fascinating to us about this space is that we're expecting Kickstarter to tell us where our market was, who to go after first. Uh, and of course, you can probably guess that there was popularity with schools uh, and also health. Uh, we also started to find weird use cases around logistics. So people were actually using this in terms of short form communication. So we had one guy basically using his phone in Afghanistan uh, in place of going to his CEO because he had a broken Humvee. He was basically picking up his iPhone, taking a photo of the broken part, and basically pointing out drawing an arrow, and his mate at um, Marine Logistics Division in Alameda, up the road here, um, looks, looks at his phone and goes, oh yeah, I know what the part is, done, tick. Uh, and they managed to close the loop and work more efficiently, which is fascinating to us. We even had forensic investigators pop up and start using this technology back in Australia as well to actually chart out crime scenes. So this is fascinating because what we're seeing <coughs> was no pattern at all. Um, we're expecting to find out which market to go after. And what we really established is that there's actually a general need around an easy-to-use collaboration tool, something that is fairly elemental uh, that you can just pick up and run with. Um, so we moved out here 
Uh, we raised about 700,000 seed capital. Um, we're now moving into uh, Series A diligence with the T1 VC, which is awesome. But what we really need is two things, which is sort of why we're here tonight, is we're looking to recruit really good software developers to come work on this problem of collaboration, um, which should be a pretty compelling thing because it really hasn't been done well as a general still. Uh, and also to find some use cases. So we're in private beta. Uh, we want to share this technology with you guys. Uh, please come talk to us and tell us what you think. Um, and I'd love some really cheeky technical. I, I should actually use the technology. Nav here, my COO is going, yes, Nav, my COO is trying to remind me of a very important fact. You should actually demo the technology. So let's start with that. <laughs> Rather than just talk about it, I'll just give you a cute little demo to uh, show you what we're talking about. Yeah, so I'm really I'm sure you're familiar with this sort of game. No? Oh, he is. Okay, he's playing. Okay, well, I think I can win this game because one of the approaches we're taking is an object-based approach to building technology. Okay? Rather than me just talking about it, I can actually cheat and play this game really, really well. So, basically, so you can imagine if you made... Um, sorry, oh, there you go. I'll finish that off. So, if you can make... Uh, we, 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 I guess what I'm saying, we went into the fundamentals of how do you make a free-form collaboration tool. The first thing you had to do that we found was make writing and drawing a true digital medium. So you can probably guess here, the engineers, the audience are starting to figure out that this isn't a normal bitmap drawing tool at all. Um, this is basically an object-based database, um, and every object has metadata, things like a date timestamp, uh, history, associative information around the objects. I used to have a oh, I'll point out, look. If you're sort of the back, but make your sad face. Why don't we switch to a Q and A just yeah, because? Let's stop. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you guys are welcome to ask questions afterwards, yeah. obviously. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So is this just a digital, a digital whiteboard? Is there any digital no. Um, digital whiteboard is typically between two points. Okay. Um, the digital whiteboard space is trying to be a digital whiteboard. No, I, uh, I don't. I don't mean. How many points? I mean, what, 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 what can you actually do with this? Okay. Uh, I'll just show an example. Oh, yeah, well, I might attempt to load a project, but this might not work because we're running over a 2G connection right now, or worse, uh, might actually be Edge. So this, this tool is, for instance, being used by large automotive manufacturers to basically swap out a physical process of working on a whiteboard. You can imagine a room full of engineers trying to sketch out what they're working on. Even software engineers use this too. So we're trying to look at the process of where a whiteboard fits in the workflow, which is generally a central source of truth for an engineering or large project team, or even a small one. So what goes on the board is problems from this morning, stuff from yesterday afternoon, stuff from six months ago as well. So we were interested in the idea of why we're we still leaning on this really old technology, which is basically scratching on a cave wall. And we started to think about what the limitations are. Obviously, there's physical, there's persistence issues, there's what's important about working in that particular way. So we are trying to figure out how to move obviously well beyond the, the collaborative digital whiteboard. That was our start point. So we decided to go an awful lot deeper into the problem around digital communication with writing and drawing. So we've done a lot of fundamental work around treating line drawing princess as objects, uh, how to actually manage it, manage it in the scale of collaborative space. I mean, this is being used by dozens of schools at the moment to do collaborative learning. This is being used, oh, here we are. Here's an example here. Um, so this is, I can't say who this is, um, but this is an automotive company that's basically, um, which, which funnily enough does a lot of its work on whiteboards to actually figure out large design projects like producing new, new cars. So basically I can't show you all the features. I'm actually showing you a very simple subset of what we've been working on. We're in the middle of filing a lot of patents. But you can imagine that it isn't just a whiteboard. Um, this is a digital system, so what do you want to do? You, know, you want to do things like abstract information. You don't want to just be working on one board. So if you're f fiddling around with design concepts for a new car, you want to actually want to actually get into different elements. So here's a rendering crew. Uh, you've got a bunch of guys working on quarter scale, uh, and another group here on the modeling team. But what they're doing is they're coordinating all their activity. It's particularly important for them because they're spread out. They've basically got guys in China, They've got drivetrain guys in the United States and a design team elsewhere. So this technology allows them to come together and easily coordinate the work. 
All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. sure. That's all we have time for. These guys will be around to ask more questions.